Christopher Nestor Jackson is renowned primarily as the matriarch of the Jackson family, a musical dynasty that has significantly impacted the pop music with talents such as the Jackson Five, Michael Jackson who rose to become the king of pop and Janet Jackson among others. As the matriarch of the Jackson family, she has been an integral part of their success and fame. She has garnered a reputation for her unwavering support and love for her children. Catherine and her husband Joe Jackson played pivotal roles in the early careers of their children, especially in the formation and success of the Jackson Five, guiding their musical direction and supporting their development. Her dedication to her family's musical endeavors helped launch them into stardom, making them household names worldwide. Despite facing legal battles and challenges, Catherine Jackson's unwavering love for her family and her inspiring resilience continue to make her an icon. In 2024, Catherine sued her late son's estate for more than $500,000 in legal fees reimbursement racked up while trying to keep the estate from the secret deal of the sale of 50% of Michael's music catalog to Sony. She also has issues with the executors who have failed to transfer all assets to the trust that Michael set up to take care of his mom. Michael dedicated his 1982 album Thriller to Catherine. Janet also did the same following the release of her 1989 album Rhythm Nation 1814. In 1985, acknowledging the positive impact on her children's successful music careers, National Urban Magazine Essence honored her as Mother of the Year. Catherine was portrayed by Angela Bassett in the 1992 miniseries The Jacksons, An American Dream. Patricia Idlett portrayed her in the 2004 film Man in the Mirror, The Michael Jackson Story, and she will be portrayed by Nia Long in the upcoming Michael Jackson biopic. She has a net worth of $100 million. According to the terms of Michael's will, he left a 40% interest in his estate to his mother. Upon her death, her share will be distributed to Michael's children. Catherine resides at her home in Calabasas, California, with her family and has another home in Havenhurst, Encino, California. Catherine was born as Katie B. Screws in Clayton, Alabama on May 4, 1930 the elder daughter of Martha and Prince Albert Screws. Jackson contracted polio at age two, which left her with a noticeable limp. In 1934, her father changed his surname to Screws and renamed her Catherine Esther Screws. As a child, she aspired to become an actress or a country singer, but was dismayed to find no notable black country stars. Her parents divorced when she was still a child. She attended Washington High School in East Chicago, Indiana where she joined the school band. In 1947, Screws met Joseph Jackson, a fellow resident of East Chicago, Indiana, and they began to date after Jackson obtained an annulment of his earlier marriage. After dating for a year, Catherine and Joe married on November 5, 1949. In January 1950, they purchased a house on 2300 Jackson Street in Gary, Indiana that had just two bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen, and a small utility room for the washing machine and freezer. Their sons slept in bunk beds in one bedroom, Jackson and Joe in the other, and their daughters in the living room. The couple was blessed with ten children, most of which could rise to become icons in the music industry. Maureen Riolette, Reby Jackson, born May 29, 1950, Sigmundesco Jackie Jackson, born May 4, 1951, Toriano Adderall Tito Jackson, born October 15, 1953. Jermaine La John Jackson, born December 11, 1954. La Toya Yvonne Jackson, born May 29, 1956. Marlon David Jackson, born March 12, 1957. Brandon David Jackson, born and died March 12, 1957. Two months premature. Michael Joseph Jackson, August 29, 1958 to June 25, 2009. Stephen Randall Randy Jackson, born October 29, 1961, and Janet Demita Joe Jackson, born May 16, 1966. During the couple's early years in Gary, Indiana, Catherine sang together with Joe Jackson as he played guitar. Joe and his brother Luther also formed an R&B band, The Falcons, in the mid-1950s, for extra income. Joe had a boxing career, but later went on to work as a crane operator at East Chicago's Inland Steel Company to support the family. Catherine, a devout Jehovah's Witness, began to work part-time at Sears and & Gary and played clarinet and piano on the side. 
She knew that her son Michael loved music and had rhythm from an early age. One day she saw him dancing to the rickety old Maytag washing machine. Another son, Tito, would sneak to play Joe's guitar while he was not home and one day broke a guitar string. After the guitar was fixed, Tito played for Joe. That sparked the forming of the family group that was named the Jackson Brothers Five, that later became the Jackson Five. While Joe led the rehearsals in the living room, Catherine designed and hand-sewed the stage outfits for the boys and visited the Salvation Army for shoes. Jackson also spent time singing harmonies with the boys around the kitchen table. Jackson served as the family's backbone. Personal life. Catherine filed for a divorce in March 1973, but chose to cancel the divorce papers. In August 1974, Cheryl Terrell gave birth to Joe's daughter, Giovanni Jackson. Catherine again filed for divorce in 1982, only to again rescind the papers. Despite living separately, due to Joe's extramarital affairs, the couple remained legally married until Joe's death in 2018, with Catherine denying every rumor that the couple were estranged. In 1990, Jackson released her autobiography, My Family, The Jacksons, which documented her early years and her relationship with her husband and their children, eight of whom wrote salutes to their mother in the book's foreword. In 1980, Catherine and her two youngest children, Randy and Janet, confronted a woman who worked for Joe's company whom Catherine had often reportedly accused of cheating with Joe. The incident was re-dramatized for the 1992 miniseries The Jacksons, An American Dream. In the miniseries, Catherine was shown confronting Joe instead of the woman about the alleged incident. During the late 1980s, she began experiencing an estrangement from her daughter LaToya after she was being managed by husband Jack Gordon. In her 1991 memoir La Toya, growing up in the Jackson family, La Toya alleged that her mother was emotionally abusive, charges Jackson denied and blamed La Toya's husband for brainwashing her. In 1997, La Toya and her mother reconciled after she filed for divorce from Gordon. In a 2010 interview on The Oprah Winfrey Show, she acknowledged that her husband had admitted to having physically disciplined their children. Joseph's image as a father became tarnished as the media reported stories told by his children that he was abusive toward them. Catherine said that the whippings and physical punishments were common back then when Michael and his siblings grew up. In 2009, Catherine's son Michael died from cardiac arrest. Catherine and Debbie Rowe, the mother of Michael's two oldest children, reached a settlement pertaining to the care of Rowe's children, Prince and Paris. The agreement provided that the children would be raised by Catherine and Roe would have visitation rights and would continue to receive the yearly payments to which Michael had agreed. On August 3, 2009, a judge named Jackson as the children's permanent guardian. On July 25, 2012, Jackson's guardianship of the children was suspended by the court amid allegations that several Jackson family members might have held her against her will as a result of a financial dispute they had against Michael's estate claims she later denied. Guardianship of the children was temporarily given to Michael's nephew, T.J. Jackson, son of Tito Jackson. Jackson's guardianship later resumed, with T.J. Jackson added as a co-guardian. On November 1, 2017, Jackson resigned as co-guardian of Michael's youngest son, B.G. Jackson stated her reasons for resigning included her own advanced age. T.J. Jackson was, without objection, awarded sole custody of B.G. Catherine established the Jackson Family Foundation, a charitable organization focused on providing education and assistance to disadvantaged children and families. Catherine Jackson has had a fascinating life and career, filled with incredible achievements and personal struggles. From her pivotal role in nurturing the Jackson family's musical talents to her resilience in the face of tragedy, Catherine has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Her unwavering love for her children and grandchildren has been the driving force behind her enduring strength and the bond that holds the Jackson family together. As we celebrate her remarkable journey, let us remember her as a devoted mother, an influential figure, and a true icon in the world of music. Thank you for watching. Click on the bell notification button and subscribe for more content like this.